You are the Bay Bites DL Stewart, and today I will be talking about 25 different acronyms um, you see in the publishing and writing uh, community that apparently some people are unfamiliar with. So I figure I would go ahead and uh, talk about them and kind of explain it for all y'all. The first one is ARC. It stands for Advanced Free to Copy. Um, usually these are sent out right before publication, um, after you've done all your edits and stuff. Um, you might be looking at your own proof or something, and you're sending it out to people for free to read it and you know leave you a review. Um, that is the goal. They don't always review it, but you know what can you do? Um, but that's what the purpose of an arc is, um, as well as. They do get sent out even after publication still. If you are just seeking for reviews, you send it to somebody afterwards, they will read it, review it, whatever. But yeah. The second one is BIC or BITJOK. Um, it stands for butt and chair or butt and chair hands on keyboard, um, which is basically to say, you know, in order to write, you just gotta sit down and do it. The next is comp or comp title, um, which is a comparison comparison title. Um, it's usually agents or a publishing house will ask you for this um, when you go to submit your manuscript and they're like, you know, what are some other books um, within kind of the same genre that your book is compared to? You know, what books is it like in a sense? So they kind of get an idea of the style of story you're telling. The next is a CP or a critique partner, which a critique partner is someone who is also a writer and you just kind of send them your story um, and they read it, critique it, tell you what needs to be worked on and in turn you do the same thing for them. Um, it's not really a beta reader or an alpha reader because those are more from the standpoint of a reader and a critique partner is more on the technical side as you know writers and such. Um, so you get more information in that regards. The next is FF which stands for flash fiction. Flash fiction is basically a short story, but it is usually under a thousand words. There are some cases where it might be slightly over depending on the genre or exactly the publication that you're submitting to, um, what their limit is. But generally it's like 1500 to a thousand words or less is classified as flash fiction. The next one is F slash F. Um, so very similar. This stands for female, female lovers or romance or, you know, whatever, that kind of uh, romantic relationship dealing with two females. The next is HEA, which stands for Happily Ever After, like in romances or other type of uh, genre stories that are particularly have happy endings. You know, that's what like. this has a happy ending, you know, it doesn't end in a tragedy or anything like that, you know. The next is MC or your main character which is just what it says, a main character, your protagonist in a sense. The next is a M slash F, which is a male-female relationship, lover, ordeal. Um, yeah. <laughs> After that you have an MG, which stands for middle grade, which is a category or you know target audience. Do you write adult, young adult, whatever? MG stands for middle grade. And then you have M slash M, which is a male, and a male lover relationship um, type of romance or something like that. The next is the MS, which stands for your manuscript, which is the actual bulk of your story, what you are writing, your copy, that's your manuscript. Um, that's what you submit to an editor or an agent or a publishing house or whatever, that's your manuscript. Next is an NA, which stands for new adult, which is, again, another target category. Um, you are writing to that tar target audience. Next is NaNoWriMo, um, which stands for National Novel Writing Month. There's also Camp NaNoWriMo, um, which is Camp National Novel Writing Month. Um, National Novel Writing Month is the month of November where the writing community, um, people try to write 50,000 words in one uh, month. Um, and that's usually where a lot of people are like, okay, this is what I'm really going to work on my story or whatever, but that's NaNoWriMo. Um, Camp NaNoWriMo is uh, usually in April and July. Um, it's like a smaller version of that in a sense where you don't have to hit the 50,000. You can actually make your own goal, whether it's word count, hours, chapters, whatever. You set your own goal and you try to achieve that in those two months. 
The next is an OC or original character. I see this a lot in like fan fiction or whatever since you are using other people's characters, other people's stories, worlds, whatever, and they want to insert a new character that is actually there. It's an original of theirs within this fanfic or whatever. The next is a PB, which is a picture book, uh, which is generally in the uh, children uh, age category. The next is PC, which stands for page count. How long is your story? How thick is it? You know, how many pages? Next is PH, which is the publishing house. You know, the people that's going to publish you. Who are you submitting to? The next is PitMad or hashtag PitMad. This is something that kind of goes on on Twitter where you tweet like a pitch of your book um, with the hashtag and then other agents um, and editors and stuff like that will see it and if they like it, it's kind of understood that they are telling you go ahead and submit it to me um, and they will look at it generally faster than they would have if you had just sent it to them originally um, without going through that in a sense. It's a way to pitch your book to a mass audience of uh, agents and such. The next is POV, which stands for point of view. You have like a first person point of view or a third person point of view. How do you write your book? Is it told from like the actual main characters? Um, like, you know, you are them or is it just kind of third person talking, you know, so-and-so did this, so-and-so did that. Um, as well as your point of view character, which is who is this uh, point of view being seen from in a sense. Even if it's third person, you still generally follow one character at that point. You might switch to a different point of view character in a different scene or chapter or something, but your point of view character at that point is usually somebody, um, regardless if you're writing first or third. The next is R&R, &R, which means to revise and resubmit. So if you send your uh, manuscript or something to an agent to see if they want to take you on or to a publishing house, they might tell you to revise and resubmit, which means they like your story, they might like your writing. It's not perfect and there are some issues, but they think if you you have a chance of making it good, so they will tell you to revise it to make it better and then resubmit it. It's not them 100% telling you, no, we don't like your story. No, we're not going to represent you or whatever. They're like, there's potential. Just try to make it a little bit better and I will be willing to look at it a second time if you, you know, revise it. The next is SFF or SF slash F, which just stands for science fiction and fantasy because those two genres typically get grouped together um, because it's both speculative fiction, um, but that's what that is. It's science fiction or fantasy and fantasy, whatever. Yeah. The next is WC, which stands for word count. Talk about, you know, they might ask for a page count, especially if they're looking to actually do a print version of it, you know, and they're like, well, how many pages is it? You know, what's your page counts, you know, from start to back? The Battle for Metagor was 510 um, pages. Um, not the actual bulk of the manuscript. I think it was like 502, but once you throw in the acknowledgements and the cover pages and all that stuff, it was 510. So they want to know that so they know exactly how much pages it's going to take to print the book so they know how much it's going to cost to print it. Word count is kind of in a sense the same thing. They know you know about how many words they can fit on a page, yada, yada, yada. They just want to know the, how big your book is. The next is a WIP or your WIP. Um, that stands for work in progress. What are you currently working on? What story are you currently actually writing? Not, not what you've got done or anything, but what you are working on, work in progress. And then the last one is YA, which stands for young adult. Um, it's not a genre, like a lot of people try to classify YA or new adult or something as a genre. It's a target audience, in a sense. What age group are you targeting? Um, so that's what that is. But yeah, that was 25 different acronyms um, in the publishing and writing world. Um, I will be doing a like follow-up on this with uh, other terms and stuff that you know, are thrown around a lot that some people might not be aware of what they mean or anything later on in the future. I think maybe next month or the month after. Um, I can't really remember. I'll have to look at that. Um, but yeah, this is the actual acronyms. Um, I figured I'd do this first because I figured that would be the more confusing because it's kind of hard to look up some of the acronyms because they might actually pull up something else um, in reference to a different type of 
category or something like that, like PC page count, but you look it up, it might be personal computer or political correctness or whatever. So I figured I would go ahead and do this one first <clears throat> and just get that out of the way. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy this. If there's any other acronyms or whatever that you are unaware of or that you know others might be unaware of um, that I didn't mention in this, go ahead and comment down below and let me know and I might throw it in to the next video later. Um, and yeah, so yeah. That's about it. I got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube. I got a Patreon account. You can go and support me for as low as a dollar a month. I'm on there and you can get some cool exclusives. And uh, that book right there is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books Depository, Indigo, Indiebound, Walmart, and a bunch of other stuff. All those links are down below as well as all my uh, social media links are down below. Anything you need is down below. Just go click on those links, check that out in the description. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. Yeah, everybody love everybody.